Erica. Welcome to Annie Take On Thai. Today we are going to make the pumpkin curry. Nice and creamy, popular in our restaurant, Chababi Yon Thai. Let's see the ingredient. Um, we have the curry paste contain all this. The dry pepper, shallot, and uh, this is the kefir lambs that um, pretty hard to find since we live in Utah right here. And we use just the skin of this. We have used the, of course, lemon, lemon grass stalk, um, the galango, uh, peppercorn, sugar, salt, and um, of course, garlic. Everybody loves garlic. I do, good for you. And um, so on the curry, of course, we're gonna have the coconut milk. And so we have this guy. This is the pumpkin in Thailand. You can use butternut squash, but as I like this guy. This guy is called Kabosha. It's have like a um, deeper, nice uh, and creamy flavor, a little sweet. And so this is uh, our popular in Thailand. I'm gonna put the fingernail and a poke on it. If your fingernail didn't go through, it's good because it's all you need to to pick the one that really, really like old, so you have a nicer and flavor than the young yeah. one. Carrot, bell pepper, and basil. So, and uh, this is a uh, fish sauce, and this guy is the <laughs> shrimp paste, which is we use in our curry. If it's vegetarian, it's just the optional, but that Thai, most of the Thai curry have it. And um, we have oil and the protein today we're gonna do the chicken and you can cut the vegetable the way you like it now we're gonna start cooking so I gotta turn the heat on and I'm gonna turn on like a low heat because of uh, we gonna saute the chili paste and make it nice aroma you don't want to use the higher heat because it's gonna got burned before you get a nice aroma. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. We use canola oil, just a little, just to make it not st stuck on the pot. And uh, I like spicy. So we're gonna put a whole tablespoon of the chili paste in there. And I'm gonna let it roast it a little bit. So I'm going to put it on here. If you right here, you will smell how nice it smells. But we don't want it to be burned, right? So we just want it to get a nice aroma. In the meantime, I'm going to open my coconut milk. In Thailand, they use as a lot of them is a dessert. And they use the pumpkin not cook with the coconut milk because it's like it's already have like a rich flavor and so they use with the lighter broth instead and give a nice and sweet so i gonna put the coconut milk but i gonna put usually this one is like they mix it up and so i gonna put just half of it usually if it's uh you have you see the coconut milk that have like quite creamy i gonna hold that I'm not gonna put that because I don't want my curry, my coconut milk to break out between. So I'm gonna put half of this and save half of it since this one is already mixed. And I'm gonna bring it to boil now. And you want to make sure that your curry paste is uh, all diluted. And when they start boiling, we're gonna put the chicken in. So after I put the chicken in there, and so I add the carrot in. Not gonna cook the carrot so long, so it's like you still have like a nice and crunch in there. And um, I already cooked my um, pumpkin. I don't like to cook it so long, because when you cook the pumpkin so long, it's become mush. And so you want it to be like nice and sweet. And so I'm gonna add it in after I seasoning it. So I'm gonna put um, sugar, just gonna put like about one tablespoon and then you're gonna, I'm gonna cut it. Pumpkin curry should be a little bit sweet than uh, salty. So I add one tablespoon of the 
um, sugar in, which is I use the brown sugar, and I'm gonna put about one tablespoon of the fish sauce in there to cut it up and so to balance it out. And this guy is start keep boiling. In the meantime, I'm gonna put the um, the pumpkin in there. And now all I'm waiting for is the pumpkin to warm it up. And of course I'm gonna have to try it. <laughs> Thai food, right? Always have to taste it. So I mm. have to season this a little bit stronger because we have more creamy part of the coconut milk to add it in at the end to so keep make it really really creamy so this is like quite a strong flavor but it's like it's so good it's balanced it's always a little bit sweet a little bit salty and now everything boil i add the rest of the my cream coconut i'm gonna put bell pepper in there and i don't like to cook my bell pepper so long because when it's gone mush it's not good when it's like nice and a little bit crunched you got like a nice and sweetness to it and now we're gonna add the basil to the end. I don't like to put the basil in there and cook it because I, that has become welted and you don't taste that great. It's nicer when you put it in and then you turn it off and you have like a really nice aroma at the end. So now I'm gonna put my basil in and I'm gonna turn it off. And it look amazing. Here's the pumpkin curry. Um, nice and delicious, really nice and creamy. So thank you for watching any Takes on Thai. Find us on Facebook or Yelp, or subscribe us on the YouTube. And um, oh, come visit us at our restaurant, Chabab Beyond Thai, Tiro's Diner, and Siam Noodle Bars. Thank you. Kapunka.